Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's have a look at the beautiful brisk swing of Matt Fitzpatrick here. Lovely rhythm and tempo. Uh, he's one of my favourite players for sure. And if you've not seen Matt in person, you know, add that to your to-do list this year because, well, he's gained an awful lot of speed in the last like 18 months or so. So really sends it and that's, that's impressive in itself. But he's also one of these players that likes to play with a super low ball flight. So does an incredible job of just like flighting down a lot of his shots you know, irons, but also driver. And I just think that's um, that's really cool to see. So we'll have a look at uh, face on for, for Matt here. The one thing that you're going to notice pretty quickly is setup. You know, he likes to play with a, a pretty strong um, grip. So that left hand has got like four knuckles showing. And um, obviously that's going to want to try and promote a closed face as he comes through into impact. So Matt's got a, a few movements and a few things here that he tries to do to prevent that from happening and just offset that strong grip. The first, which is only minor, but um, it's still going to help him, is, um, you know, look at where his hands are, slightly further forward than most PJ Tour players, sort of sitting over his left knee. And what that does is it pushes the handle forward a touch, so it gets the shaft lying at about 85 degrees. So a little bit of forward shaft lean at address. And the more forward shaft lean that you have, the, uh, the more it's going to want to open the face. So, yeah, minor offset there. But um, uh, as, he, as he brings it into backswing, one thing you're going to notice about Matt is he stays, uh, stays pretty centered. Uh, he's going to want to pivot around that left hip and that left knee. So it doesn't move off the ball an awful lot. Um, press into the ground quite nicely to so lose a touch of height at the top of backswing. Um, but the thing with Matt is he, uh, you know, he gets the club to the top really using his pivot and uh, his arms. He doesn't have like an awful lot of wrist set that you can see there. It's only really when he gets to the top that gravity sort of wants to take over and he starts to introduce some wrist angle. And my God, it's world class when uh, when he gets to this position. Just look at the amount of lag he's able to create. It's really insane. And when you're getting to like left arm parallel, you know, anything really less than like 80 degrees, um, you know, in terms of the angle of the shaft is is pretty impressive. And he's got it lying at about 53 degrees. So I think this is one of the reasons why he's able to, um, you know, generate so much club head speed without it looking like he's, um, you know, swinging out of his boots. So it's it's really cool. Uh, he, you know, he's dropped down a little bit. He's lost a little bit of height. So he's using the ground really well. He starts to shift, <clears throat> you know, with his lower body into that left side. So he gets, uh, he gets half of his quad through that line beautiful stuff the shoulder starts to sort of press up against it as well so he's you know he's really moving towards target and then um let's clear a few of these lines the thing that i love about matt as he comes through is because of his left hand he's gonna have to basically try and like hold this you know shot off he's gonna he's gonna have to hold the uh, the face from from rotating so um what you're gonna see is he comes into impact. Let's just have a look at the relationship between his right arm <clears throat> and the shaft. Uh, it's really incredible because a lot of amateurs, you know, even good amateurs at this point will have like flipped so that the right arm and the shaft are sort of in line with each other. But Matt had just, you know, holds it off to create this angle all the way through the shot. And you can see how much pressure is just putting onto the, onto the, um, the ball there. It's amazing. You know, continues to hold it off. That left wrist just isn't uh, isn't letting go at all. It's only really when he gets like late on here to the follow through. Just look at that right arm extension. That the uh, the right arm and the shaft start to sort of you know come in line with each other. But um, yeah, otherwise it's you know it's beautiful, beautiful impact condition. Um, the other thing is. One of the things that all elite ball strikers do, and you can measure with um, with your own swings, just draw a line at the center of the pelvis and the center of the chest. And that should create a small gap. This is called the sway, the sway gap, the uh, the difference between how much your lower body swayed and your, your upper body swayed into, uh, into impact. All world-class ball strikers get into this position where they're striking the ball in between uh, those two lines. So that's how you're going to get maximum compression on the shaft, uh, on the ball, on the golf ball, sorry. And, uh, you know, Matt does an excellent job of doing it. And it just comes into this incredible balance finish position. It's um, it's really impressive stuff. Love it. Um, if we have a look from down the line, <clears throat> let's see here. So uh, we'll draw a line at the angle of the shaft. Quite interesting with, uh, with Fitzy because... Um, 
He's, he's a two-plane two player. So because he, you know, works into backswing, mainly using his pivot, you're going to see, like, his hands and the club shaft work way behind him into backswing. You know, really kind of gets out of position here. It's incredibly flat. Um, but one of the things that he does very, very nicely, if we take it back to address, is he's going to create, like, some room for himself. So <clears throat> have a look at the angle of his spine at address. Um, as he brings it to the... Uh, to the top he starts to kind of you know, steepen the shoulder plane slightly and introduce like quite a lot of left side bend and then when he gets to the top <clears throat> you know you can just see you know, that spine angles increase slightly so that just creates like a little bit more room for him here especially as he's starting to like bring the hands over the top so again it, it, golf's all about like matchups and um <laughs> yeah, dealing with like some of the uh, some of the funky movements in your own swing, and Matt just does this absolutely uh, beautifully. Uh, again, he's got another sort of interesting move here, which offsets the strong left um, uh, grip or left you know wrist. So what he's actually going to do is work his left wrist into a bit of extension rather than flexion. So you're almost going to see. <clears throat> that left wrist cupping slightly. Again, it's only minor stuff, but ever so slightly sort of coming into transition. Um, and then when he does bring it down, he just gets it into, you know, the slot. Lovely. It gets that shaft going through the right forearm. Um, you know, and, and at this point, everything is just perfectly matched up. Again, he's, he's got a load of space. The right arm is really bent and, um, you know, comes through the shot, middles it. Thanks very much. And then again, just sort of holds off that club face, prevents it from sort of releasing and comes up into that really balanced finish position. It's, um, uh, again, it's it's not your traditional golf swing, but, um, you know, he just makes it look so simple. And uh, one of the reasons he's one of the best players on the PJ Tour. Guys, thanks very much for stopping by. If you haven't already, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll be back with more swing videos and uh, swing tips very soon.